Intermediate Algebra, Section 7.3, Multiplying Radical Expressions. The product of two nth roots is the nth root of the product of the two radicands. In other words, if we have the same index on our radicals multiplied together, we can take the nth root of the product of each of those two radicals. These are equivalent expressions. And we can use that then to simplify problems that look like the following. Because these are both square root, have an index of two, we can multiply the radicands together underneath one radical sign and simplify from there. Seven times 11 is 77. In the next one, we have a product of three things. The radicals have the same index. That means we can multiply the radicands, the quantity underneath the radical together, underneath one radical, and three times four would give us a 12. Now we can't simplify here. We need three of a kind. Four has a two times two. Three is a prime number. So this is as far as we can simplify this multiplication of radicals. In this last example, we're multiplying radicals together. They are both square root. In other words, the index is two on both of them. So we can multiply the radicands together, the x plus y times the x minus y, and then simplify from there. We don't have two of the same factor, so we can't simplify, and other than perhaps multiplying these two binomials together by multiplying first terms together gives us x squared. Outside terms would be a negative xy. Inside terms would be a positive xy, which cancel out the previous term. And L for the last term, using the FOIL method, multiplying these binomials together. A positive times a negative is a negative. y times y is y squared. We could see prior to doing the multiplication, again, that we do not have the same factor that we could take the square root. Only if we had had, say, x plus y times x plus y could we have simplified this expression.